And for more on the college football playoff picture, welcome in one of the best in the business, CBS Sports senior writer Jerry Palm. So, Jerry, with USC's loss to Utah in the Pac-12 championship, does this mean Ohio State sneaks into the playoff? Yeah, it does. Uh, what a great day for the Big Ten, and they haven't even had their championship game yet. Uh, USC's loss, oh, man, and not just a loss. They got killed. I mean, this was, this was a blowout. Uh, USC is going to drop all the way down to the Cotton Bowl, and, uh, and Ohio State's going to back into the college football playoffs. So the Big Ten's going to get two teams into the field. Uh, Penn State's going to end up in the Rose Bowl unless Purdue wins uh, tomorrow, and then in which case it's Purdue. But uh, it's been a banner year really now for the top of the Big Ten, uh, a much maligned league otherwise. But the, the top of the Big Ten has been pretty good, and two of those teams are now going to get into the college football playoffs. So Ohio State slides into the four spot uh, in the playoffs for you. Is TCU into the playoff no matter what happens on Saturday? They already were. The, the three undefeated teams have been all week. That There was no chance that those teams were going to miss out on the college football playoff because you weren't going to put 12-1 and TCU behind Ohio State. That wasn't going to happen, and now it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, TCU is definitely going to be in the playoff if they win, but I felt that way all along. Okay, so is there any chance that there is some, some, some movement in the rankings based on results on Saturday? Yeah, you could see, especially if there's an upset among the three undefeated teams, you could see some shuffling among that group. Uh, if LSU beats Georgia, Georgia won't be the overall number one. You know, Purdue beats Michigan, Michigan probably won't be number two. So, but, but they're going to be in the top four. It's just a matter of playing for seed now instead of selection. All right. So there you go. As of right now, Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and sneaky Ohio State in after the loss to USC uh, from Utah. Wow. I, I, look, this is, I, I didn't think this was going to happen. Uh, you, you see, uh, you, USC losing to Utah and Ohio State sneaking in. I'm, I'm, Jerry, I'm surprised. Well, I'm really surprised. Either, and certainly – not by the margin that it happened. Yeah, they 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 scored twenty three. They, they scored. They put up twenty three points in the fourth quarter. Did Utah? So, Ohio State sneaks in thanks to Utah, their opponent that they played last year in the Rose Bowl. That game was fantastic, by the way. You remember that, Jerry? Uh, good luck to your Purdue Boilermakers on Saturday. Thank you, Jerry Palm here breaking it down for us as the college football playoff picture comes into focus. After Utah upsets USC 47 to 24, last team to win back-to-back -back national championships, Alabama in 2011 and 2012. Number one Georgia looking to go back-to-back. -back. They're the favorites to win it all at minus 160, followed by Michigan at plus 280, and look at Ohio State at plus 750 as they appear that they'll be sneaking into the playoff with USC's loss to Utah. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.